Hello guys, tuning in back again. I thought this week uh, do something a little bit different. This is a brand new Mega Drive game. Uh, it's a caravan shooter with a two-minute mode. Um, it was de it was developed by uh, Nendo and uh, programmed by a guy called Real. Uh, that's all I can really find out about it. There is a website you can go to, and he uh, does tell you a little bit of details. And his website does have a lot of. Uh, uh, Mega Drive programming in uh, sort of uh, stuff on this. You can have a look. It's got a couple of web pages. Uh, web pages in Japanese, but you can use Google to translate it, which is quite nice. Anyway, like I said, this is a uh, brand new shooter. It was made for the 30th anniversary of the Mega Drive, uh, and it was thrown together. This is a release candidate, or well, the first release of uh, version 0.9, so it's not fully finished yet. But to be honest, it seems pretty much finished. Uh, Say, so being a caravan shooter, it's all about basically flying up screen, shooting as much stuff as possible, and scoring what you can in two minutes. Uh, that doesn't sound that exciting, but you'd be surprised. These caravan games can get highly addictive. Uh, you can play them for a long time. Uh, Say, so this one has only got a two minute mode. Um, some of them do have five minute modes and stuff, but like I say, this not being the final release, I don't know whether he plans to do a five minute mode. Um, who knows? Right, there is a, a few things you can do in this. Uh, there is a scoring mechanics in this in this game. Some of the um, caravan games have sort of cunning scoring mechanics. Uh, well, this one doesn't quite have so much sort of interest in scoring mechanics, but you do get hidden tiles on the floor. If you manage to shoot them and find them, uh, they go up in bonus points. And then when you get the next one, they double and carry on as you follow through your two minutes and find each one of them. There's also um, sort of black sort of box blocks with a red marking on them if you sh see them you've got to shoot them pretty quick you've got like, a little bit of a time limit to shoot them if you do manage to shoot them all uh you get a big bonus off them and um so there's quite a few areas in this where you go through to get the extra bonus and uh let's have a look and you get bonuses at the end of the game as well so when you actually finish the two minutes depending on what you've shot and stuff you get bonus points and pretty much that's how you score high I've managed to score something like 580 odd thousand points, but I, and that wasn't easy to do, but I reckon you could score more now. If you get everything perfect, I reckon you could definitely do more now. I say this, this game is, most caravan shooters tend to be a little bit busy, if you know what I mean, but they're not too crazy. This, this game is really fast. It's, it's super fast, and it's a bit like a bullet hell game at times as well. The amount of stuff on screen, it, it does get a bit crazy at times and a bit hectic. Uh, plus, the other bonus thing I forgot to mention is when you shoot things, you get these coins. Uh, if you collect the coins, you get points for the coins as well. So, the options, you basically got normal and hard. I haven't tried it on hard. We'll do that, I think. And you get a little bit of a sound test. So, let's start this up. Ready. Nice and simple, you've pretty much got uh, fire, an auto fire button, and a speed button. And that's pretty much all you need. So you basically shoot everything, trying to collect these coins for more points while dodging everything on screen. Uh, shooting as many tiles on the floor as possible. There's one of those little uh, gold bonuses I was about. And there's those tiles I was on about with the little red S's on it. Um, I say I'm going to die a lot in this game because it's pretty tricky. So this time I'm playing it on a joypad as well, and uh, definitely shout out to the Mega Drive's official six-button joypad. What a nice joypad that actually is. So, you basically carry on dodging all this stuff, shooting the floor, going down here, then you get these big enemies that fly down the screen, you got to shoot these things. So you want to go up and around. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this game. It's, uh, you definitely get very busy indeed. Ah, oh, damn. So you are going to die a lot in these games. They do take a little bit of practice and uh, this one is definitely not easy to get to the end. Yeah. Especially talking and playing this game as well is uh, particularly hard work. The pink enemies that release the uh, big bullets. Uh, they're a bit of a nightmare there. And um, like the row of enemies that fly down the screen and they loop around the bottom. 
in like a half circle you can't in most caravan games you can stay at the bottom of the screen and they won't actually hit you but in this one they will you have got to actually move you can't stay down the bottom of the screen you do actually have to move about quite a bit yeah. like that little tile over there and you want to shoot these little asses as fast as possible then i need to go around the screen because it's going a bit nuts also as well when you collect those little like power up icon things you get invincibility for a couple of seconds uh, which does come in handy i'm gonna stay low here because those ones coming around there's another tile over there this one is very hard to get the bonus on you've got to be pretty quick shooting them problem is if you get in there really fast to shoot them you end up dying quite a bit because the enemy is actually flying around uh, okay what's going on by here you also get those um, little bonus things that fly out, these things. You collect them, you get quite a lot of bonus off them as well. So it's, it's definitely worth collecting them. And they're the ones that give you the little invincibility for five minutes as well. Ooh, that was close. That was really, really close. That one is very difficult to get. Right then, boss time. What you want to do is get a slower speed for this boss. Let's see if we can do it. Boss is not too difficult. It's like famous last words. Not too difficult. Um, because like three different types of firing. One is probably best to get to the side. Dodge it from the side. Then you want to get back right in front of it again. Dodge all this stuff. Dodge the sides. Get back in front of it again. Hopefully it's dead. And that's pretty much the entire game. There's my bonuses. That's not a bad score at all, actually. Can do better. And that's pretty much uh, Omega Blast. Um, literally, it sounds like a game... A game will come out and give you two minutes. Sounds crazy. But um, Caravan games, when you go in for score, especially if you've got friends around who are actually playing these games for score, they could be highly addictive. And you'd be surprised how long you can play these things for. So that's pretty much the entire game. So I am going to... But it's not all about just playing it for two minutes and that's that. It's all about getting a better score. So these things, you just keep playing it basically. Hopefully he'll um, add a five minute mode to this. That would be really cool if he does that. Because uh, most of the PC Engine games, uh, or NES where they originally started off, uh, they had a two minute and a five minute mode. Uh, so then obviously the Two minute mode was the nice easy quick one the five minute mode took a lot of a lot more practice to do i missed the bonus thing so i wasn't fast enough you do take a lot more practice to do have a lot more to them um so hopefully uh he'll add he'll add a five minute mode i see the graphics in this game are pretty nice actually they do the job quite nicely and the game is very speedy as you can see and there's a lot of stuff that goes on screen at once as well uh, he's definitely managed, you do occasionally see a tad bit of slowdown, um, but not very often, to be honest, only when the screen does go a little bit crazy. If you leave a lot of the enemies on screen, uh, the screen can fill up with bullets. All in all, it's done very nice. The music as well is good. I, I, I like the music on here, it's good. The guy's done pretty well. I don't know whether there was one guy programming it, maybe one guy designing it, but they're, um, they're Japanese, whoever they are, anyway. So it's definitely worth having a look at his website. Uh, what I'd say is you can basically go to his website now. Uh, you can download uh, the release ROM for this, uh, totally free. So you can either, uh, if you've got an EverDrive, play it on your EverDrive, which is what I'm doing now. Or you can uh, play it on an emulator. And it's definitely well worth um, getting it. There has been a few of these type of games come out in the last couple of years. There's one I reviewed a little while ago for the NES called Blade Buster. Uh, and that's very good. Very good indeed. Two minute and five minute mode, but highly addictive. You want to keep carrying on trying to get a better score. The amount of stuff that goes on. <laughs> I left it too long and you need to zoom down right underneath. Try again. Ready. As you can see, they do get addictive. This one is 
they usually are a little bit more forgiving to be honest like uh, on the pc engine ones you do get some of them give you unlimited lives but as, as soon as you're dead that's pretty much game over because you can't get a high score anymore but they usually give you a couple of lives which can be used to your advantage in some of them the superstar soldier one he does a death boost to basically boost his score on the world record of it which is very impressive our world record but um, this one is just literally one life and it's uh, short and sweet. So the first time you play this game as well, you, you're going to die a lot. A lot. This game is tough. A bonus for there with the S is, is, is oh damn it, it's uh, very difficult to get to be honest. There's a sheer amount of stuff that's going on. We'll cut for more goals and then we'll try it on the hard mode. In fact, after this one, I'll try it on hard. Which I haven't tried yet. Let's see how crazy hard goes. It's pretty crazy as it is now, so... Hard must be a bit ridiculous. I have been playing this on a joystick, so going to a joypad is a little bit different. It's still well playable, nevertheless. So you definitely got to figure out where all those little secret fight um, tiles are. Um, they add a quite a bit of extra bonus if you can actually get them as well. I see a missed that. That's very tricky to get that one. Ooh. Very tricky indeed. Oh, tile there. Didn't realise there was one of those secret tiles right over there. Die a lot trying to get the tiles on the floor as well. Because uh, once you know how to get the scoring points of this, uh, you, you just you just want to keep going from every time. So, let's try the hard mode. Alright, here we go then. See the difference on this. Ready. Pretty similar so far. One of the famous last words. Probably. The bullets might be actually a little bit faster. Not by giving much chance for a lot of bullets to come on screen then. No? Ready. Um, try again. It. Oh, it's playing there. Uh, this for quite a bit this morning. Trying to get a really good score on you. So if you, like I was saying before, if you if you get a friend on you and you're challenging each other for the best score as well, that's when these games come really competitive. Oh yeah, the bullets are definitely faster. I wonder if you get better bonuses on hard. Oh my god, that was fast. Hey, this this is like a, a super fast bullet hell shooter at times. The, the amount of stuff that goes on on screen, plus the actual speed of the bullets as well. This game can be pretty pretty mad at times. Right so far. Be a bad thing to say that. Yep, I knew it was a bad thing to say that. Anyway guys, that is um, Omega Blast. There you go, high school. Uh, it's, say, this is a freeware game. I will put a link to the website so you can just download it, check it on emulator, or check it on your EverDrive. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice caravan shooter. Looks pretty nice, I think. Sounds pretty nice. Plays really nice. It's crazy hard, but uh, that's the fun of it, I suppose. And it can keep you going for quite a while, especially when you start working out those bonuses and uh, how to score really high. I, I reckon you could get 700,000 on this game. Maybe more if uh, you knew where all the bonuses were and you managed to pick everything up and do a perfect run on you, which god damn it, I'm gonna have to try and do. Um, but yeah, perfect game. Download it for your, your uh, Mega Drive. Uh, good game if you're bored, just pick it up and play it for 10 15 minutes. Try and get score and check it out and go and do whatever you need to do. Really cool game. And shout outs to um, Nendo for programming it. And uh, I really like it, dude. And uh, I hope we do a five minute mode. Because uh, you've definitely got something going on here. I know you're a single guy making this, but um, 
hats off to you guys. It's a really cool game. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll uh, catch you soon. Bye now.